indigenous youth learn how to make a traditional trap, three sticks and a rock, and they are also learning the physics behind it. Instructor Jack Shu, a mechanical engineering student, says the design of the trap is impressive. The design was very smart, using only three sticks and a piece of wood or a heavy rock. Um, with that minimum amount of material, we can set up a very uh, efficient way to catch prey. Um, myself, as a mechanical engineering student, uh, I really admire this kind of smart designing. The height of the trap and the mass of the rock affects how fast the rock will drop, a calculation that determines the speed of the rock falling needed to catch the prey. The one-week camp, called Two-Eyed Seeing, has 15 youth participating. It combines Indigenous knowledge and Western science. The hope is that these kids will take a serious interest in STEM, science, technology, engineering and math. Angelo Masking, 15 years old, hopes to return next summer. It's awesome. It's a lot of fun, and school's come, uh, starting up soon, so it's like kind of getting back into school a little bit with getting up early and all that, and it's a lot of fun getting to know new people. Riley Goodwin, 13 years old, is learning new skills. If you go out, like, um, trapping and all that, like how we're learning to do it right now, it's pretty fun. A collaboration with Alnuweg, a nonprofit organization dedicated to the success of Indigenous communities, and Supernova, a Dalhousie University initiative to promote science, engineering, technology, and math to youth. Holly Griffiths, Director of Education at Alnuweg, says. So it's two eyed seeing. It's essentially, um, you know, looking at Western sort of science and using that, that lens, and then also taking indigenous traditional knowledge and ways of knowing and using both of those viewpoints to, to look at the world and, and to study and to learn. So, The land-based learning camp is held at Windhorse Farm, about 100 kilometers west of Halifax. With 200 acres of land with an old forest, the youth identify and calculate the age of the trees. Candace Lane, 16 years old, enjoys the outdoors. Sometimes it can be even better than just the normal school setting, just sitting in a desk all day. Um, just connecting with like nature and other people. The rest of the week will include more cultural activities, such as basket making and a water ceremony. Caitlin McPhail, Supernova coordinator, says not all youth know about their culture. And so this is a really special week for them to be able to come here and have those cultural learning opportunities while being around um, other, other youth who are like-minded and who are also here to learn and eager to experience and explore and learn more about their culture and, and who they are and what, where their place is. The hope is youth become interested in a future in STEM and the program offered in communities year-round. Angel Moore, APTN National News, Windhorse Farm, Nova Scotia.